Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited today about this video because I get to show you some amazing things that Canva is launching for a new Canva Canvas assignment. So in this video, Canva actually got to come onto the channel and demo a lot of the new things that are coming out and actually are accessible right now for you to use within your Canva Canvas classroom. I'm just so excited that Canva reached out, so grateful and uh, here we go. Let's see all the amazing things Canva has to offer for us Canvas users. I am so excited today. I'm actually like nerding out because I love Canva and we have Canva on the channel. We've got some exciting new tools for Canvas and Canva and I'm so excited to have Greg and Duluth on. They're going to show us some really cool things and yes, I'm, I'm nerding out over here. So guys, why don't you quickly introduce yourselves and then we'll get to see some really amazing magical things for Canva educators. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for having us, Lauren. Uh, I'm Greg. I'm a product manager here at Canva. We uh, work on the Canva for Education team, uh, trying to uh, improve Canva for students and teachers in the classroom. Uh, and we're really excited to show you what we've been building uh, for the Canvas integration. And I work very closely with Delutha. Yeah. Hi. Thanks. And thank you again for having us on the show. I'm Delutha. I am going to be pretending to be a student today, but I am an engineering lead for the team that works on one of the education features that we're going to show off today. Awesome. So Canva has some really exciting new tools coming out specifically for Canvas. So Greg, what are some of those wonderful tools? For the longest time, we have had a Canvas integration for a while, and we reached out to teachers and admins earlier this year to ask how we could improve that. And uh, the common thread or theme that we had was that student submissions weren't uh, seamless um, and it wasn't working uh, well within the Canvas LMS speed grader. Uh, and so we've been shipping a lot of improvements to to fix that, which is what we're going to demo today. Um, and I'm also going to show off some of the new AI capabilities that we've launched for, for teachers. Did you want me to share my screen we can get into it? Yes, I would love that. So I'm in a teacher account here. Uh, I'm going to navigate to classwork just because we need to have something that we can assign first to show this off. Uh, and one of the new um, capabilities that we've been working on is something called magic activities. Uh, and so let's do a let's do a compare and contrast. This is one of the favorite ones. I will use let's say democracy and monarchy. And we're going to get teachers to compare the uh, sorry students to compare the differences between these two modes of government. Get my poor spelling live on the. Uh, things. Luckily, there's no spelling test when you apply to become a product manager at Canva. <laughs> um, then we'll go grade seven, and this is six. Brilliant. We'll generate that. Oh. So I'll, um, while that's happening, I'll um, uh, just briefly explain how that works. So we've built a bunch of templates that are based around critical thinking and collaboration. They're, they're built for what you add on after you've done the direct instruction. So uh, you've already taught this concept around monarchy and democracy, and now you want to get students to actually apply it and and uh, and show what they know. And so then it uh, creates this whiteboard activity, which we'll see. It takes on average about 35, 40 seconds to create. So you can set this up. You can actually go in and create multiple ones, and we could do our whole lesson here within a couple of minutes. Very cool. So this um, is pretty similar to what I saw in May of this year of like Canva code. But this is more geared towards education, right? Correct. So you could use Canva code to um, to generate like a quiz or like a sorting game or like an interactive like uh, uh, thing. But what's one of the um, issues or one of the things that we're working on with Canva code right now is that there's no data persistence. There's no way to actually submit that Canva code to a teacher to review. It's a really fun interactive activity, but we need to. We're working on we're working on that uh, as well uh, mm -hmm. for the future. But what this is 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 it's actually a Canva design. So this leans into all the benefits you get out of the um, Canva yeah. uh, artboard uh, in terms of what you can do to like create it and, and and tap into the creative aspect of designing something in Canva. Actually generate and add it into a lesson, which is what mm -hmm. we've got here on the side. And one of the bits of feedback, this has been in a beta for a little while. One of the bits of feedback we had was just um, helping teachers understand how they could use it and what they could do. So each of these is, comes with a teacher guide generated at the top. Uh, and we recommend that you make it your own so you can reword parts of it. You can add some extra images to it. Um, you can drop in some different media. 
if you'd like to drop in media. We haven't been generating images into these yet just because um, we find that image generation in education has a little bit more hallucinations than text generation. So for time being, that's on the future just to um, do. The way we like to think about this is that it's giving teachers, taking them like 80% of the way there and then there's just like a little bit of 20% to kind of like tweak it and make it your own. Absolutely, especially because we had chat GPT generate lessons prior, but now they can generate worksheets with Canva. Like that's amazing. Yeah, and so I'm going to delete this for now because we don't want our student uh, Deluther seeing the teacher tips. Uh, I'm going to review this just to make sure that I'm happy with this. So this is going into, it's giving them a bit of a, some instructions on the activity goals, some quick recall on some of the terms of vocabulary that we're using. And then it goes into the activity where they have to drag and drop different concepts here to decide whether it's, it's a democracy, a monarchy, or something in between. It's available in both. Double checking that I'm happy with what it's created. Citizens may have default rules, even if they did not choose the leader. Brilliant. And then the student can also add their own, or as a teacher, I could add my own here, but I wanted to think. And then there is this um, think and share. So um, we get some, there's some samples of what the student can write. And then at the end of this, they will submit it uh, to us. Now I could assign this by here and I could just copy this link or I could assign it within Canva or you also have Google Classroom. But what we're going to do is show off the new Canvas integration. Already in my course here, I'm going to create an assignment. We'll say principles of democracy and monarchy as the assignment title. Now the old Canvas integration, uh, Canva Canvas integration existed here in this plugin. Yeah. Um, now that still exists if you want to embed presentation or embed direct instruction, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to show off this new capability, which is an external tool submission. And so this is going to make sure that each uh, student gets their own version of this whiteboard that they can then submit back. So we've got this um, activity that we've just created here. So cool. We're going to load that in. And then you can technically keep this inside of Canvas. We don't have to check, load this tool in the new tab, and it will still work. I'm going to check this just because we find that the editor does perform better when you have more of a visual space to work on, particularly if students are working on open books. Um, it can feel a little crowded using Canva inside of Canvas. I'm not going to do any um, due dates for now, and we will save and publish this. Yeah. So there's a demo of what it is, and I'll open that up. And if I want to go over to Duluth now to share what the student experience is, we can walk through what our students will receive. Okay. So here I am in Canvas and I can see that this new assignment that Greg just created about democracy and monarchy um, is right here. I can have a quick preview of what it looks like as a student of what I'm going to be doing, um, but I would rather jump straight into actually making it. This is a preview of the master copy, but then when I click that button, um, I'm getting my own copy. And so if I make changes here, it's not going to affect what everyone else sees. This is, just, this is just my version. I am going to read through the instructions really quickly and get into this activity. So apparently I need to try and figure out where a leader is born in a royal family. I think that's monarchy, but I think maybe they're not chosen by the people. So they're not. Uh, people help pick who leads by voting every few years. That sounds like a democracy. Mm-hmm. Vote systems have people who make laws and look after the countries. And I'm going to be a naughty student and I'm not going to finish all of it. I think this is good <laughs> enough. I'll submit it back to Canvas. So what we have now is as a student, I don't have to go figure out how do I send this back. It's right here. I just click submit and hopefully it goes all the way straight to my teacher. I'm not sure if that works. So I'm going to click this go to Canvas button and I can see straight away that in uh, SpeedGrader, well, as a student, I can see in Canvas that it's just been submitted. Awesome. Pretty so happy now with that. this is in the speed grader for teachers to view. Yes, absolutely. So we'll, we can swap over to Greg again and Greg can uh, show mm -hmm. us how that works. Delisa, before we go into the uh, speed grader, I've assigned you this new one. I've assigned it to you inside. This is around um, uh, conductors and insulators. You still always need to drag and drop uh, into the right uh, categories. I've assigned it to you inside of the without it going into a new tab. I don't want you to submit this one while you're updating and editing it because I want to show you how you can view work in progress before they've submitted. While I do that, I'm going to show you what the uh, principles of democracy and monarchy looks like inside of the speed grader. And so here we have his submission and I can see that he has... Wow. So I'm seeing Duluth's work here and yep, he's been dragging some things across, but he didn't finish his think and share parts of this activity. So I could grade this on the left-hand side and leave a comment, but also what I can do in here is I can leave really contextual feedback. So I can comment on this thing here and see like, um, what happened? <laughs> I love that all of the Canva tools are now 
in canvas especially in the speed grader that's really cool Yeah, we wanted to, we find like the, the contextual feedback is really helpful in helping students understand what it is that you're trying to uh, think. Sometimes when you're giving them a, 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 you know, describing, hey, in the second section in the first table, please, this just makes it so much simpler. Um, you know, but he did do a really good job up here. So I'm going to give him a, a sticker. Um, you bravocado. There you go. Yeah. I love that. That's so cool. Now, if we had more students in here, I could sh quickly shuffle into the next student submission, but we'll just assign it to one student for now. Um, and that way I can quickly review all of them. And I've got confirmation that I am, in fact, actually reviewing the student's activity here. So what I'm going to do now is jump out of this and I'm going to go to, back into our assignments. I'm going to go into the conductors and insulators activity. And I don't think I'll have anything in the speed grader yet because you haven't submitted it. That's right. So I don't actually see what he's done yet. But if I go back into Canva and I go into classwork, um, I can see that here I've got these assessments that are listed here. I can see that they were assigned in Canvas. I can go into here and I can see that this student is actually already in progress with this one, but he hasn't actually submitted it yet. So let's go have a peek to see how our student is doing. So he seems to still be working on it. So that's fine. It hasn't He hasn't forgotten to submit it. But we now get to see the student's work in progress. And it's helpful for when you want to give them feedback, but also particularly helpful when they forget to submit it to double check, did they actually do the work or not? Such a cool place to be able to see a student's work in live time. That's really awesome. So yeah, that's what we've shipped. Now there has to be some, there need to be some changes that are made to the settings, your LMS settings, to be able to enable the, what we've demoed today. Uh, and there is a help article that we can link to to kind of get your admin so that the, whoever manages the LMS setting uh, at the school to set up. But yeah, uh, and you'll also need to be on the LTI 1.3 integration. But again, the help articles go through all that and anyone who's familiar with um, LMS integrations and setups at your school should be able to follow that. Awesome. So when can schools start like inquiring um, information about this and get it in their school districts? Next week. Next We're shipping week. it on Monday. Ah, oh, that's Maybe so Maybe before funny. this video goes live. Yeah, it'll be probably right when this video comes out. So that's very exciting news. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for showing us all the new stuff coming out with Canva and Canvas. <laughs> I always think that's like the funny thing about Canvas and Canva is like they're so similar. Just the S is missing. <laughs> <laughs> I just really appreciate you guys so much. This is going to be life changing for teachers. Um, so thank you so much. Anything else? Final thoughts? If you try it out and you have any further improvements or feedback that you want to make, there's a uh, feedback submission form on the website, please. We read all of those. So uh, if you have anything else that you'd like to add, submit some feedback so we can figure out how we can improve it even further. Love that. And I will actually link that in the description of this video. So it's easy access. Awesome. Really? Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Again, I just want to thank Canva, Greg, Delutha for coming on the channel. I truly believe that these tools that are coming out are going to save teachers so much time. And honestly, Canva has so many new things coming out, especially like with their launch with Canva code in May and their spreadsheets. You could honestly just use Canva and Canvas together and have a really amazing, engaging Canvas course. So I'm just, I'm so excited to see what else they have in store for us in the future. I will be posting another video video that goes deeper into these tools. So stay tuned for that. And again, if you want to provide Canva with any feedback on these tools, make sure to leave a comment below or access the link in the description of this video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.